Hey, what's up everyone? Bubble Kings here and welcome back to some more Paladins. We're playing Pip here and we went with an Asset Cloud build here. Now, the most interesting thing about the build now is that there's now Kronos as a common card. So now you can um, use that and get the side tanks upgrade, which means you're further, you're getting like an extra 20% cooldown reduction than you could before because Kronos and side tanks used to both be epic cards. They used to both take up the same slot, but now you can have them as extra um, common cards. You can separate them. So now the cooldown of Flask here is going to be really, really low. So right now it's on 7 seconds, and we only got one upgrade in... Oh, dude, someone behind us here. And we only have one upgrade in our card, side tanks. So when we upgrade it t two more times, it'll go to 6, so... The cooldown of explosive flask will go down to 5 seconds, which is a bit crazy, <laughs> since it's such a strong skill, especially with the ultimate card as a cloud. And if we can spam that, it'll be really, really good. Oh jeez, can we get out of here in time? No. Okay, we took the damage from that poison, so that's okay. We'll throw down our explosive flask. Oh god, he's moving so fast. He's got his ultimate off. Let's go sheep these guys. And we'll, that will allow our team to chase them. Looks like they're running towards us. Jeez. Okay, we jumped out of it. One of them is going to come and try and kill us. Let's reload real quick. Throw down the flask on the point. We hit the ruckus, which is nice. Oh, man. Buck, no. Buck chased us all the way around. So, let's go upgrade explosive flask here to get some more damage down on the acid cloud. So actually, I just looked, and Acid Cloud has a 5 second uptime, so if we, um, if we can perfectly time it, we can have Acid Cloud up on the enemy permanently, when we upgrade side tanks to max rank. So, oh jeez, someone's behind us? Guy, okay. Chain lining as well, we have to watch out here. Let's go sheep it, because otherwise we're going to die. Um, alts in this patch are much easier to just like throw out, you don't have to wait for perfect situations. Just because you can build them up so much quicker with um, the passive um, amount and the extra cards. So like, see, we just used it twice in the time I took to say that sentence, and now I'm back on 22%. Like, it's really, really fast. Um, and we're going to get up again in a second, it looks like. What are we on, 75? Okay. Oh, let's go hit her with the bomb. And... We should be able to kill off this card pretty quickly. Ruckus is actually really good against the card, the new Ruckus. So that's always really fun to play. But we don't have one, do we? We do. When he uses ultimates, he can get some crazy damage off on the card. Okay. So here they come. I'm going to start walking back through the gate. Throw down the sheep bomb there. And we can... Oh god. I'm going to get back through the door here so I don't get killed by their Grover. Let's quickly upgrade side tanks here. Once more. And push forward. So now it should be on a four I mean a five or six second cooldown. The explosive flask. So then we can almost have Acid Cloud permanently up now. After we fill these two up, we're gonna go and fill up stickiness to max rank. And that should be really good. Because then we can keep him inside the actual cloud for much longer. Oop. Did we get him? Okay, there we go. Look at that. Right on their entry point. Now we have to watch out. There's a buck coming around here. Let's go sheep him. Or chicken him or whatever you want to call it. Oh god, we can't hit him. I don't know what our Eevee's doing not looking at the buck. But, um, that's okay. Let's go run. Oh, we got attacked by Sky. She must have seen us running around the side there. Yeah. Oh, no, she walked around just at the perfect time. Okay. That's just unfortunate we had no HP when we walked around the corner. Okay. We have to try and get on the point because they're really close to getting in. So we'll throw down our flask on it. This should zone them a bit for a while. Um, We're going to throw down in front of the point again. We're just trying to keep him off the point. We don't really need to um hit him too much we just want to zone him off the point oh my god that axe to the face <laughs> look at this it's just like 
Kublamo. <laughs> I get one shot. I was low from um the sky. Uh, time bomb there. So that's why I got taken down so quickly by that axe. Where are they going? Oh, got so much movement. Stop moving. Oh god. Okay. Let's run. Throw down our healing. Oh, now where is she? Oh god. There she is. Oh, they're getting away. Come back. Oh no, we didn't dismount him. We missed our shot. Damn. We were trying to hold them back, but uh, it looks like they got away from us. Which is unfortunate, because now we lost some gates. We might get a nice um, chicken out off here, though. No, we missed the two front people. Damn. We we were trying to get it in the middle of them all, so we could hit all four of them. But we hit it too far back, and I only hit two of them. Unfortunately. Look how fast these ults charge back up though, like, I'm already back up to 30%. It makes it a lot more interesting, but it sort of, um, makes the ults less impactful, I guess, because they're always up, pretty much. So they're not like, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, that's not good. It seems that, um, there was a tree in the bush. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Man, that cleave. Okay. Let's, um, the, the beacon's still up there. No, it just got destroyed. Just as I said that, it got destroyed. Okay. Well, that's fine. It looks like we don't have anyone left to defend the point here, though. Which is really unfortunate. Oop. They all seem to, um, spread. <laughs> From my flask, so that was kind of a waste to throw down. Oh god, no, Buck, get away from me. Um, throw down our fl- oh my god. So much damage. Straight up just killed us. We might get this point though. We got our respawn point down, everyone's alive besides Eevee. And we got it. Okay. We kind of snuck it there a bit, because there's so many people alive on their team. That I'm surprised we actually got it. Oh, let's sheep him. Can we save Bark here? We got one. There should be another one on the side here. Oh god. We missed Dark here. And now we have to watch out for this tree guy coming around. Okay. Let's try and get to our car here, so we can deal some damage. And we'll get the last upgrade aside, Panks. So now, it's on a four second cooldown, I believe. Let's see, we'll throw it here. Five seconds. It's on a five second cooldown. And we can pretty much just spam that now. So we just throw it down again. Oh, jeez, no buck. Why are you so strong? <laughs> oh, man. I think buck's got a, a, a huge improvement this patch. Like, look at this. This is just crazy. I actually think there's a better one than the Giga Siphon one. There's one where if you get killed while recovery's up, you um instantly go back to a certain percentage of life. And I think that with all the cooldown reduction could be really, really strong. Okay. Let's go throw down the bombs. It looks like we got this down pretty well. Let's throw down this again. Like, look at this. It's just ridiculous. How are they going to get down the point anymore? We can just spam it down permanently. So they're going to be permanently taking, um, like, 50 damage a second. Oh. Where is she? Okay. I don't think I'm getting out of this in time, but I just don't want to get hit by her after. The beak, um, after her time bomb goes off. Oh, jeez, we're really low. We really need that health pack, but, uh, Rackers picked it up there. Let's not show ourselves too early. Let's throw down the choke point here, so we can sort of deal damage to everyone trying to shoot the car. Um, let's throw down the bomb, and we'll toss that up there. 
Okay, we're gonna try and just run past these guys a bit. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, we did get him, but there is a Grover on us, gonna kill us. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do have someone with the card. It looks like they're doing pretty well. So that's, um, good. It looks like they're still destroying the next gate. No, they destroyed the card already. Okay. Um, what are we gonna do here? We'll get the last point in Acid Cloud. So that should, um, that should do a lot more damage now. Oh jeez. Oh god. <laughs> Just <laughs> teleport straight into it. Um, there's a sky on the right there that we have to watch out for. I'm pretty sure she's gonna come for us. Oh, we found their point. That's nice. Now we can throw this out on the point. Oh, we missed our ultimate there. Which isn't too bad now. Oh god. No. Grok. We threw down our flask on the point there. So that should, uh, that should zone him out of it a bit. Hmm. Man, they're gonna get this one, it looks like. Yeah, we have no tank there, and it's only Eevee left on the point, it looks like. Okay. Damn, that's unfortunate. We were so close, we had our ultimate up as well. Um, let's try and get out of here if we can. Alright, uh, we're gonna die here, so what we're gonna do is just throw down our flask. Try and get some damage off as much as possible. That way we can build our ult up again for our, our next ultimate. Let's see. We only have our base gate left. So this is going to be close. Let's see how we can go there. I'm going to throw the flask up there to help my team and start shooting down here. Surprisingly the acid cloud actually hits them um, above and below the stairs there. We actually got some nice uh, grouping of ults there. Not ults, some um, skills. But it looks like they're gonna get it anyway. Well, actually, actually, can we save it? No! We need to reload. Stickiness. Please. Oh god, it's so close. Okay, we well, they haven't got the gate yet, but the gate's gonna die to the, the machine, it looks like. Unless we're allowed to save it. Oh my god, it's so close. No. Barak. No. Oh, Buck just jumped in there and got it. Barak was trying to save it with his shields, but it just wasn't enough. Damn. That was actually pretty close, saving at the end there. Oh god. Look at that damage. Look at it. So that was pretty good. It's just crazy how, um low the cooldown on abilities are now since you usually have a card that reduces the cooldown of it say like we have psy tanks here and then the buck has uh what is it vigor here and both of those cooldown reductions combined with the common card cooldown reduction is just insane how well you can get some of these cards now i think this is going to be the what build sort of um go around now it's going to be really ability based i think just because of how low you can get some of these cooldowns Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.